CBC, anemia, infection, inflammation, yes or no? I would say it's, it's not a guarantee, but I'd say I'm, I'm sniffing around it. I'd say 75% yes. C-reactive protein and ESR. Highly needed, highly indicative of, of uh, metabolic endotoxemia, highly related to IBD. Liver function markers. Same thing. Yeah, ALT, AST, same thing. I've, I've, and there's not a good liver test. There's not really a great liver test out there. You have to go on symptoms and patient and what's going on with them. And so, yeah, liver is absolutely key for all autoimmune disease. Highly overlooked. Autoimmune antibodies. Great for a diagnosis and understanding what's going on, but it doesn't do as much for me to actually treat the root issues. Stool tests, pre predominantly calprotectin. Fantastic for the colon. I like the Vibrant America Gut Zoomer uh, because I look at multiple levels of inflammation, EAP, lactoferrin, calprotectin. Um, but it's, yeah, it's probably going to be the colon. A lot of what you find in the stool is not going to tell you too much about the small intestine because all that bacteria is made in the colon. So wonderful there. You got to take some things with a grain of salt, but sometimes the answers are right there and obvious in a non-invasive stool test. And obviously you and I both love leaky gut, testing for the tight junction protein enzymes, the actual yep. inhabitants, et cetera.